say about these simps, man, because nah. any words of advice from the OG, like, stop. Nah, nah. Yeah, and a lot of these guys are good guys, man. That's another thing. They're just nice guys, man. Stop. Yeah, yeah you gotta find your masculinity, man. That's why that's why that's it. Find go back. yourself, love yeah, yourself. We'll always go back to the one. We we'll always gonna go back to that's the it, one. Man. I'm gonna go back to the one. We're always gonna always go back to the one. You know what I mean? And I realize that. Because everything always everything always gotta go back to the whole. Yeah. Start with your fucking self. Yeah, man. There you go. From nineteenth time I made of your podcast. It starts with yourself. You have to know who you are. You know, you, you, and that's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? You gotta appreciate who you are and you gotta love who you are. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love who you are no matter what. No matter what you, you, you may call something that's a, uh, um, what do you call it? an insecurity, make it a security. Something that you may be like, damn, your foot is one foot shorter than the other. Make it a strength. And, and, instead of being caught up in what's wrong with me and why nobody loves me and why this and why that. If you change the way you think, you change the whole world. That's it, man. That's Sims. You gonna move on, though. Ain't moving on. To abusers. What's the different types of abusers you can name? And I'm, I can start off um, mental, yeah. physical. Yeah, that's it, like mental, physical, and Mental, emotional. physical, emotional. Probably even, I would say spiritual because well, they'll break those three will start fucking with your spirit though. Yeah, so that break those spirit three will fuck with your spirit. So it's, no, it's I mean, really but, uh, mental, physical, and spiritual. Mental, mental physical, physical, and emotional. Mental, emotional. emotional. Uh, abuse. That's the type of abuse is, but, but um, can women be abusers? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Then, will you hear abusers? And I know, and, I, and, I, and yes, you can. I'm going to go and spin wide too, but, and I'm pretty sure I'm, a good amount of y'all know, but every time you talk about abusers, it's always mad. It's like a... When you're abusers, you're a masculine. When you're rape, you're a masculine. Well, we can make too. Like, when you hear these things, you hear masculine. But I was, for people that don't know, yes, women can be abusers. Yeah, I mean, a woman may not be able to physically abuse a man, but you can mentally and emotionally oh, abuse shit. a man. Oh, my Lord. You know what I'm saying? In many different aspects. Anything he do is never good enough. Um, Why he's never doing this. You know what I mean? Complain about everything. Talk about complain it. about everything. Complain about everything. They can be the worst abuse. You just physically abuse about everything. You know what I'm like saying? Always it. coming at you, coming down and you, attacking oh, you, attacking you, attacking you, attacking you, trying to break your spirit. Break it real, when a When a true, beautiful woman, you know what I'm saying, will only uplift a man, because she would know uplifting a man is uplifting yeah. herself. Yeah. Like yeah. a yeah. good yeah. man yeah. knows uplifting uplifting this woman is uplifting himself, because we are both one and one. You know what I'm saying? It all goes back to the one. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, women, women, the wrong women, is mentally and emotionally abuse, you know what I'm saying? And many different reasons men deal with it, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's kids. So, what, what, so, so if you said, you said, what, what you said, Sex, you said abuse was physical, mental, physical, emotional. Yeah. So, what do you think the, what do you think the abuse that the woman specializes? in? I told you, mentally and emotional. Out of, okay, out of mental and emotional, which one do they do? Out of most. That's a hard one. Let me think about that. I think, I think mentally and emotionally tie both of them together because once you fuck with the mental, you're going to fuck with the emotions. You know what I'm saying? Once you fuck with the mental, you're going to fuck with the emotions because the emotions is the frequency. You know what I'm saying? So once they start to hit your head, hit your head, hit your head, if you ain't a strong enough man to either walk away from it or put it in her place, then you, that shit's going to start fucking with you emotionally. You're going to either start feeling insecure within yourself, weak, not the same man that you feel that you was before, if you don't know yourself, you know what I'm saying? So I think they specialize in both very well. I think that masses can one be abusing as fuck? Yes. And one could argue that if you're talking about abuse in a whole scale, when it happens with men, it's more extreme because it's physical. physical. Sometimes it be mental and emotional physical, as well. It's physical because but physical it's a mental and emotional problem. Physical, yeah. physical, but it's usually physical, beating on them, restraining them from right. doing things, rape, all this crazy man shit. But one could argue that... Um, mental and emotional abuse is just as bad. It's just as bad, obviously, but one could argue that it's more frequent with women in an everyday relationship. That they yeah, mentally where they abuse, speak to you. That they mentally and emotionally abuse their man. Right. That's guaranteed. You, it's, what, every, it's every so often you see a nigga beating on his girl. But in a lot it's of relationships, a woman is... be happy, a bitch unhappy. You come and smile and... Ah! It's like, oh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, shit brings yeah, your whole fucking yeah, spirit yeah, down. And guarantee they know what the fuck they doing. Guarantee. You know what I'm saying? Guarantee. Yeah, that shit is good. Guarantee. They know what they doing. They intentionally doing that. They trying to draw your energy away. Nigga, you ain't gonna be uh -huh. happy because I'm not happy. 
We go to Mount Hatch. Yeah, I'm being. Oh, yeah, she's real. You know what I mean? Like, yes, women can be abusers and they specialize. They are artists and mental and emotional abuse. I agree. Because they can't fucking beat you they up. can't beat you. So that's saying things that cut. Yeah, they're saying they're, things yeah. that they know that bothers a man. That's why that nigga never gave you back that money. Shit that they know though, you make one pick up your ass and smack them across their face. Listen, this is why a lot of that's, stories. Don't do it though. Shoot, this is why a lot of stories, man. Let's, let's use that example. That's why they give back your money. And they be like, his ego pop up, like, oh, word, shit, yeah. I'm pussy, right? Yeah. And he gonna go grab his gun, like, word, oh, I'm gonna go back. Would you fucking that nigga? Yeah. One is it gonna go yeah, away? It's gonna go, it's gonna go away. You know how to make a man ego. You know what I'm saying? If that nigga's not in control of his emotions and his mental faculties, that shit will go awkward. And I, and I think they be knowing that. They be trying to draw that demon out of you. And they know they can't beat you. No, that's why they do that. They're still, they, they get That's why they're gonna berate you and belittle you to make you feel less of a person. If you're willing to stay there and deal with that type of behavior, you know what I'm saying? Because no man or no person, man or woman, should take that type of okay. shit. And as far as the man, yeah, hey, that fucking cold moves. Yeah, being on the go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any man that beats on a woman is a sucker. It's pathetic. Because you don't want a man beat on your daughter, your mother, your niece, or your sister, or your niece, your cousins, or anybody, anybody like that. You're going to you wanna fly person. out the window. So you shouldn't put your hands on the woman. Pussy. Granted, a woman should not put her hands on a man either. If you're a mentally ill girl, you're going to get to that man. not put her hands on a man because you might get slapped. We're going to get to that man. I forgot about that. But yes, we're going to get to that. But for the man, I'm touching you for a minute. If you fucking up a girl, you're a pussy. I don't give a fuck if you're a thug and you got mad about it. I don't give a fuck if you're a pussy. Because you know she can't, can't do nothing. She can't do nothing. She can't defend us. I'm like being up her kid. Like, you're a pussy, nigga. And first of all, if you're mentally abusing her and making her emotional distress, you're a pussy Just too. Just because you're an insecure ass. Just because you're insecure, you want misery. Just because you're an insecure simp and you that. want company with your misery, you're a sucker. Be a man. Be a son. Be strong. And Raise and a be nation. Honest, just like I said, one could argue that women does it more frequently. And it's true. That I'm too abuse. What could argue if a man is abusing a girl, you know, it makes you even more of a sucker than she is. Because women is emotional. And their emotions make them do the things they do. We're supposed to have logic, we're supposed to be leaders, we're supposed to be the son. You're a fucking bitch. I'm not talking about the terms of being a woman either. I'm talking about in terms of being a motherfucking coward, yellow belly, mentally disabled individual. I do not accept that. I don't like it. I never liked it. If you're raping a woman, you need to get shot. I'm sorry, I don't give a fuck if I have a rapist, even if you ask, if one is a, a, a subscriber and you're watching, unsubscribe. I think all need to get shot in your head. Yeah, no, we don't rape one. And I'm not taking that back. Not allegedly, I'm not reflecting on that. It is what, that's my, yeah, you all y'all pedophiles are raping, I need to get it taken out of here. Yeah, Anybody pedophiles are rapists don't belong on the planet. That don't belong here. There's no revived rapist to me. You, you rape three people, nigga, that you, you, I don't give a fuck if you don't rape people for the first year of your life. You should be gone for doing that, because you fucked up three lives. <laughs> You think they ever get over that? I know a girl that was raped. Oh. Two niggas with a gun. Daddy, they all Pathetic both of them get shot in the face. Yo, I swear to God, oh my lord, bro, that they didn't survive. Hopefully they get too graphic on this. Hopefully shit. they dead by now. Yeah, for real. Hopefully they hopefully. dead by now. Hopefully, you stand on for switch death. Get the fuck out of here. What like a sucker? They can't get them out of here. So you get to the girl. Hopefully they dead by now. Hopefully they was dead right after that. So yeah, abusing right, right, girls right, like girl. that, you beat on girls, baby, like y'all niggas need to get. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I said, yeah, man, pathetic. And then going back to what you said, if you're a woman beating on, and I seen that shit, that shit was crazy. Somebody used to live on our block. This girl used to beat the shit out of our man, punch him in the face, bang his head against the wall. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm going to jail, I guess. Cause when there's self preservation kicking. No, 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 no. Don't put your hands on me. Bug it. Don't put your hands on me. Then it's a reservation kick. If I try to refrain you from hitting me and you keep going, I might just hit you back. Yo, you just had to be He used to be hold, trying to hold her away. She used to be rocking him. I remember she punched him like three times, just had the wall twice. Bow, bow. I'm like, what? Rocking him. I'm talking about full force. But she's a big chick girl too. Rocking him. Yeah, and that happened because that nigga was a sin. Sin, big time. Big, big, big time. And she ain't had no respect for him. I'm talking about probably, this happening a lot. You see this? Was fucking everybody I see this guy get beat on like three, four times, bro. And she probably was fucking everybody in the sun. I mean, if she's doing that. Trust me, she ain't got no respect for you. Yeah, if girls y'all hitting the niggas, a nigga, and a nigga swinging hate making y'all niggas, don't be surprised. Because if you punch a nigga in his face, scratching a nigga's eyes out, doing crazy shit, or like, yo, ass something. She hates you, nigga. You don't get it? She hates you, nigga. 
She hates you. She hates you. She looking at you and she hates you. Oh, that's as a not man. Somebody she loves. I don't. That's she only. She, she, she hates you as a man. She looking at you. She hates you as a man. Because when she with the next nigga, she loving that nigga. Mm. Suck him off. Bend him over. Pleasing him. I'm about to rock you. Y'all sucking niggas. I know how y'all do it. Pleasing that nigga. Cooking for oh, that nigga. Man, oh, happy. I'm right. punching you in your Buying face. Buying that nigga gifts for his birthday. Then looking at you stupid about, on yours. I'm thinking about somebody right now, bro. I'm not gonna say no. Like, like, I don't. Nah, we ain't gotta do that, but Jesus it's all good. It's Jesus. the truth. Cause that's what she doing. She ain't got no love for you, nigga. She sucking the next nigga to death. Oh, so she beat you up. Let's move on from this fucking. Take it back to 92 on Onyx. She was sucking the next nigga to death. Yeah. Cool. I know, it's so cold, but it's vulgar, but it's true. It's well, true. 91, 94, I don't but it's true, cause that's, I've seen it. I've seen it happen with me. Girls are treating me like shit and come treat me like a king. Or treat me like a man. I don't say like a kid, it's like a man we should be treated. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, you know why? That shit is crazy. That's you know it. Why? I'm not it's lying. I'm going to keep it real too. It's the job from out the door. When you came into the relationship, you demanded. This is how I be treated. So it's a nigga on the job who comes in there and the boys be like, yo, I need you to do something, but it ain't part of the job. You like, nigga, I'm not doing that. You don't pay me for do that. But the next nigga he asked to do was like, okay, I'll do it. So that nigga gonna run around here doing shit all day long. The next nigga, nigga, you don't pay me to do that. See, it's like the same thing. You came to the relationship like, nah, I ain't with that. So she know how to approach you. The next nigga came to the relationship, okay. So she know how to approach him. Uh, oh, I just remember that name. I never remember that name. Tahira. Wow, that's crazy. Sixth grade. Yeah, that's real what you said. Because I was saying back, and I, I'm not gonna lie, it always goes to me. A lot of girls I kicked to the curb because I said I treat the niggas, that's what Turn me off. I'm not gonna hold you. But I see him back and watch how it hurts some nigga. And she used to fuck with some nigga named Lewis. He was crip. And he wasn't that hard. He just fucking he just knew the hard nigga. Some fucking hazel eye, pretty boy, dressing crip nigga. And um, he she used to say, he used to tell me a joke about shit. Certified. I tell my I'm, I'm my friend boyfriend to put beat you up. You know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was looking across the room. And I said nah, and it pissed me off. So I went there and I said the same thing these kids say verbatim. It's a long time ago, so I can't remember what I said verbatim. I said the same thing she said. What do you think this girl did? Giggle. Then I looked at that kid and looked at him like, just to try to tell him, yo, if you stand up for yourself. It doesn't matter. But why she giggled with me? Because from out the gate, that's how you know, I don't fuck about the rules. Yeah, because that's from out the gate, you present yourself a certain way. The thing about it is, me, even if he can't even switch that dynamic, he'll have to wait to know. You could say he's that go for his life, then you no, could come on, man. No, 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 I know, no, definitely you can change. Oh, really? What I'm saying, that situation with her, he can't change. That's like a gay nigga all of a sudden saying he's straight. Oh, that bitch, that bitch is going to laugh at that nigga. Yeah, nigga, she, please, she, you work for you. She yeah, should have probably worked. Dr. Pierce is a bad job. Good job. So what you trying to say is like, in that moment, you know your pussy in charge, I tough. Yeah. She probably call Lewis and he's not Yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> you gonna call Lewis and you gonna get fucked up. Enough. You gotta wait till you get the cops to do that. You gotta switch up. You you oh, you, you can't switch up now on her. She know your mo, nigga. You don't get. She know the recipe, nigga. You gotta wait till you're out of high school. She see you again and she That's know you're about that right. Yeah, you gonna get fucked up, nigga. I'm just warning. Don't don't go switching up this season, nigga. Wait till the season I play and come back next season as a different player. You know what I'm saying? Come back next summer and you see her again. She know that you ain't playing. You gotta start fresh. You can no, see your fucking happened? body. Because I'm picturing it. Because the guy I'm thinking about, he was obviously soft the whole time. <laughs> yeah, she know your body. So if she tried to do that, man, what? Yeah, she probably called that nigga. Like, like, what? Call Lewis. She was like, call right. Lewis. All right, nigga. Call Lewis. Lewis will wait for you after fucking Fuck class. Yeah, he's not fucking you up, yeah, nigga. Yeah, so you can't switch the season. Like, don't, don't switch. Immediately. You yeah, nah, nah, nah. This ain't basketball. Don't get better mid-season, yeah, nigga. You're yeah, gonna get yeah, fucked yeah, up. That's true. Unless you unless you practicing boxing from before Yo, and and your knuckles game is up to par. If your knuckle game is up to par. But if your knuckle game is up to par, then tell her to call <laughs> Lewis. Cause then you can defend yourself. But if she called Lewis yeah. and Lewis know 20 other crips, you're about to get fucked up, my nigga. He's you know the you know degenerates. You did. Yeah, so then you gonna get fucked up. The mother degenerates is gonna come. But the degenerates, you know, I know, cause Jack, my big brother, he was called degenerates. You know, so I like, yo, you call yeah. them, it's gonna be neutral, it's gonna shoot the fear type of thing. So I'm a bust it. I grew up half degenerate. Yeah, yeah, we grew up half, half degenerate. degenerate. Like 
I learned later in life, either you're going to be a degenerate or you're going to be a good guy. You can't play both sides of the fence. But, but, but we also learned earlier in life that you better put these up. Don't be no prey out here. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be a long... I'm telling you if you live in the hood. I'm not, I'm not living in the hood. Fuck that. If you live in, in the, the world, suburbs. In the world. Because you get swirlies and... Because they, they hurt you. In the like world. I'm Nigga, fuck the hood. The I'm bugging. The first gang you belong Don't be a prey. See the first, you see what, Please. what we said I, I earlier? Said remember what we said Please. earlier? The white boys be swirling and stuffing you in lockers, homie. Remember what we said earlier, right? Remember what we said earlier? When we said we were happy to be a man. The first gang you belong to is called M A N. Man. And as a man, you should protect yourself and defend yourself at all times when you're feeling threatened. As a man, you should never let nobody. Put your hands on you, disrespect you, but putting their hands on you, words is light, words is wind. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? And you should be as a man, be strong enough mentally to not fuck your words. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should be able to control your emotions as a man. You know what I'm saying? That's a man, because you're a man first. That's the first game you belong to. A man. So you conduct yourself as always as a man. Always. As a man. So I'm not going to lie. They say I'm for the youngins. I don't know the old niggas might know, but he say bad for the youngins, he's not talking about being a thug. Nah. Because I know when you hear bad and you hear a real nigga, that's like a social nah, media being thug. being a man. Nah, no, being a man. That's what I said. It's the first gang you belong stuff. to is a man. You a man before you a thug, before you a gangster, before you a man, do you a drug means dealer, before yourself. you a gang member. A man. That's when you a man, yeah, call Lewis. All right, there. That's all right. Oh, yeah, that's a real everybody hates Christian. That's just gonna. When Lewis come, Lewis gonna fuck the nigga. Up. And Lewis gonna see who it is. Like this, this is gonna, gonna be fun. First, first, this is gonna be fun. Lewis is gonna look at the face because I know how I feel. He was not gonna. He was not gonna. Lewis is gonna look at the face and through his mental role, that's just gonna go down. But like, is this nigga important? No, no, sure, motherfucker, this nigga. That's how it go. I've seen you gonna look at the face and be like, do I know this nigga? Do he this he do, 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 do he hang with anybody I know? No. You better get fucked. You better strike. That's what you think of. I'm about to make a, about to make an example of it and have fun with it. Yes, I won't recommend. For um to change my thing, but for the abuses, let's go back for the last. Why do people abuse even people they actually love? They don't love them. They don't love them. You cannot abuse. I got a different take on it, but I'm gonna let you allow me. Oh well, let me reschedule cause, that. Yeah, because I think let me reschedule. Go both ways. I think it's think I don't get shot because they don't love himself. I about to, that's why I'm about to tell you reschedule. You know what it is? It's not that they don't love them. You cannot abuse something that you love, right? But if you don't love yourself, how can you love anything else? So the thing is, they don't love themselves. Because if you love yourself, you couldn't abuse something that you love. You know what I'm saying? So you can't love nothing else if you don't love yourself. So I figured they don't love themselves. Oh, and they've been abused themselves through their So, so you think in, in, in retrospect, they basically, you're saying you can't love, like literally love. love Even if they yourself. might think they love them, you think they don't love them because they're abusing them. No, you can't. I was thinking, how, can, how can you hurt something that you love? Yeah, that's a good, good point. How can I that's a good walk point. in here unless I'm so fucked up but, but, mentally? But maybe, hold up, but maybe you're thinking from... A uh, 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 personal standpoint, and rather from the standpoint of being in general, because I'm thinking about me, like I can never do that, because the way I was raised is my morals. No, 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 forget, no, 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 no. Maybe forget somebody that. that's just hollow, but do love that person, want that person around, but then how you gonna hollow, hollow and love something then? Because you can't, he, he you or can't she can't express it. You can't relate to that. Because they don't know what love so is. They know how to express love because they never love If you don't know what love is, how can you, how how can you love? It's like if you've been smoking bullshit weed, right? And the whole time you've been smoking bullshit with you, be like, yo, this shit is good. The next nigga come out with better bullshit with you. You hit that nigga, yo, this shit is chronic. Nigga, you don't know what good weed is. Because you never smoke good weed. So how could a nigga know what love is if you ain't if you ain't got love in you? If you ain't never been shown love. You don't know what love is. What you what, that shit is that. That shit is infatuation of the sex. And having that person or there as um also going not to them as we insecure fear of being alone. That, uh, that that's love what a selfish act. Selfish act. Love. Well, rather than selfless, because love is selfless. Love is so selfless. That's that. contradictory. You can't really love something if nah. you don't even taught love. That's like boom. I'm to put an easy example for if you lose anybody, right? You can't know love if you never taught love. You can't know love. Mean like I. If he's never taught basketball, he 
can't go on the ball corners and stop busting ass, nigga. You never play. You never. Nah, you gonna be going. You be hacking. You be dribbling. You be throwing over the backboard. Cause you never was taught. You never practiced. You was never shown it. You never shown it. If so, you were shown the opposite yeah. your whole life, hit you, scream at you. What the fuck you doing? That's what you're gonna show the next. The that's not what you're gonna fault, but that's what it because the abuse, 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 become the abuse. The abuse become the abuse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But abuse is. The craziest because it's more common than you think. Maybe people hear abuse, they always think this. And that shit happens too. No, that's the. That, that, that. There's a lot of abuse that happens. I've seen it all the time. Mental and emotional abuse happened first before the physical abuse, unless that person just right out the door a piece of shit. Majority of the time is mental and emotional. More mental and emotional. On both sides. Where you going? You can't go nowhere. And then when she looks to disobey, or vice versa, depending. Or a woman telling a nigga ain't shit. Or a woman not, I don't know, I, I can't say that. I'm taking that back. I, I was about to say, make a man be a man. There's no way a fucking woman can make you be a man. You either a man or not. I've heard that a lot from guys too. You gotta make me be a man. What are you talking about? There's no way a girl can't make you be a man. Bro. No, you gotta wanna be a man. You, you gotta, gotta take, you gotta take that back. You gotta take that back. And, Yo, right? and so, then the thing is, if you was being raised by the right mother, and no disrespect to no woman, but if you're being raised by the right mother, your mother's gonna look at you. And she's gonna see qualities that you and be like, yo, cut that out. Don't do that. What's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna adhere to certain things that you're doing, so you're not gonna grow up in a certain way where you're so fucking emotionally unstable or so addicted to women where you can't be without a woman. You know what I mean? These things to me comes a lot too when there's no man in the household. When the woman, when the woman, the man is not that. Going back to the motherfucking agenda. That's, that's why I said the man. The problem is the man. I'm keeping it real with you. Not, if you're not gonna be with that woman, why you having kids? With I'm her? keeping it real with you. Sometimes things don't work out, but still be in the life of the child. Before we even go on, because we touched on this. She told you. Before we go on, man, I, I don't think. I'm gonna say I think allegedly because I don't know for sure. I got a good fucking thing that. Everything that we talk about, I think that every podcast episode that we've had so far, I just thought about that just now while you saw it. It goes back to the one. It goes back to the one. But I also think that the powers that be behind it, from the Emerald Tablets to this, from niggas being simps, to the, the emasculation of men, to the fathers not being around, I'm thinking about it, how is all this happening and why? Where's the roots? I'm sorry, I think about the root. I think about the agenda. I think about how niggas got masculine. I remember how niggas got masculine. I think about how men stop being around the house because we got fed images, and I'm guilty of the two of being a player, pussy, and pussy, and pussy. And if niggas step on your sneakers, so much things to get you out the household. Niggas step on your sneakers, shoot yeah, them. Make your yeah, make If you make trust pussy, have mad bitches. It's, it's, it's just, you want to make you appreciate pussy and building a family more than you appreciate the fucking it's, family. It's dumb. Where did we get it from? I know I got it from watching TV, videos, my heroes, rappers, fucking actors, movies. Where do we get it from? Everything I'm thinking about, everything this nigga's saying, set break slavery, MK Ultra, all the fucking subjects we sat out and touched on, every fucking podcast. It's a, it's days basically. It's, it starts with you, cause I, no matter what they do, it's all about you. How you? It's a programming that they set out, man. And it's, it, it, and it's a program that they've been downloading. You know? It's a program that they've been downloading into our system from uh, the time we was uh, kids. From the man, time they. From the time we was kids, how much hundred years? Probably thousands. Yeah, and they get better with the program and every generation. Probably yeah. from, from them. And it gets better, nigga. It's the same program. Exactly, it sounds like the same program to me. It's the same program. So it was, it, it, it's it's, it's, more, it's, gotten, more, it's gotten more sophisticated. All of it is... they mastered it by now, probably. Man. I'm pretty sure they mastered it by now. Because they just fucking high. You, you, you have to adjust all the time. Oh, yeah, to the times. Yeah, because the people, yeah, the people... And, and that come, also the people that come... also evolved. The people evolved. Yeah, yeah, Some of us right. evolved. You, you yeah. come across the Malcolms. You come across these people. You come across people who go against the agenda. And and when you got when you come across these people, then you have to adjust the whole shit. It, 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 it's all it's all like it's all fucking um. It's a it, 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 the, it's a wonderful. You ever watch the Wizard of Oz? That's not what it is. But the the beauty of the Wizard of Oz was at the end. 
That ain't so, you know, the Wizards was just some little man. A little street. man would fucking use a whole bunch of technology as tricks. Pretend, smoke and big faces, pretending to be a wizard. You know what's the best part? Did you ever see the, did you ever see the wizard? And hold on, before you brush on, I don't want to actually brush over that. I'm going to keep telling you something. And this is one of my thing. I think this is one of my soul powers. You know why? Because as much as I know it's indoctrination now, I'm going to keep it still real with y'all niggas. I still love entertainment, as you, as you see. I love movies, but I know what they're doing. They're they telling you what they're doing. They have to tell you what they're doing. And they do it through the movies. They tell you what they're doing. They do it through the TV shows. They tell you. Because look, you ever saw the other one? So when they tell you the Wizard of Oz, this, remember, they know what Evans and Dark comes to light. So this is the loopholes. They created loopholes. You ever saw the other this one? That's what though. they doing. Matrix, all these fucking movies. Yeah. This is what they're, they're t Star Wars. It has esoteric meaning. Star Wars, oh, read the nigga. Come on, man. I mean the Lord of the fucking Rings. This, I really and Star it. Wars, now that I'm learning more, is really about the battle in the Palladium star system. Yeah, that's what they did. The war they have with all that nuclear shit. In the Palladium part, in the Palladium star system that brought them people to Nibiru and that brought people to Earth. But here's the thing. Like, even look at the wizard. The, um, the other one. I forgot. I mean, it's never off topic, but you now I mean, it's kind of... No, it's never really violent. off topic. It's still on the... It's, it's all tied in. Yeah. Cause, because we talk about the control. They're controlling all this. The reason why people's abusive. Even a lot of people that have that fucking urge and be insecure. What do you think they have insecure? They got them insecurity. They from? put them they, <laughs> and they put and then they the situations when it's getting abused by their parents. Why do they parents like that? It's dumb. So they, it, it all ties in if y'all really paying attention. But go back in. You said we're never going to for it. No, 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 no. But you, it, it's a fucking grand, a fucking illusion. Yeah. And it's a download of an illusion because they want to perpetuate a life. Because what they don't want, what they don't want is, and what can't be stopped, what they don't want is the consciousness of man to awaken. Yep. What they want is the beast to keep living, which I call the devil. That's what, that, that's what is the devil. That, the, the, this, this is the devil. What's inside of us is God. And they know if God that lives inside of you the starts to reside, weak. the flesh is weak. That's why it's in the Bible, the flesh, the flesh is, weak. is weak. Oh yeah, it is. I've heard it for millions of times. You understand now, I'm sexual, I'm talking about in everything. In, in every, every aspect. Urge. In every but, aspect. Like it's eating and it's smoking or drinking. Like it's, in it's every weak. aspect. It's weak. Mind you now. Being lazy, let me show you, let me, let me show you how weak. Let me show you how real it is. Because the body just needs nutrients to survive, not food. A baby don't fill the stomach with food. A baby fills the stomach with nutrients. The zinc, this, that, the third, this, that, the third. Your body needs nutrients to survive. The flesh wants the food to survive. The flesh wants the steak. The flesh wants this. The flesh wants that. The flesh enjoys the taste. Because the body is played with shit like five senses that mislead us. It truly misleads us. It don't lead us in the right direction. You fucked that felt good, but the bitch ain't no good for you. The bitch treats you like shit. Yeah, I want you to give me, before this abuse is happening, give me a last word for the abusive man and woman. Love yourself. And maybe you could love somebody else. Mm. You went you you high. High frequency combo. I'm going to go a little more low frequency with this. Y'all, stop being pieces of shit. And look in that mother, whatever mirror y'all have in your house or y'all car. And realize what you're doing. Because I don't care what you say, unless you're a psychopath, you got to realize what you're doing to the person you love. It's not love. Y'all seen love projected on screens and in movies and y'all know that's not what it looks like. So stop lying to yourself when you go back to all the things I always say. Stop fucking and lying to yourself. And all the gifts you buy ain't gonna motherfucker. That's not love, that. That's not love. That's not love. That's bribery. It's bribery, not love. Or payment for pussy or whatever the or fuck Or payment for pussy or extortion or whatever. And then the worst part about that shit, upon both sides, men and women, Be the real worst to yourself. part. That's my last and you know what the worst part about that thing. shit? Y'all bring fucking kids into this fucking Ugh. world. Play with y'all fucking demons. show it demons. to them. So they can do it to somebody Play else. Play with y'all demons. Because what they say also, the sins of the father falls on the, falls on the child. And, and what that means. Generational curses. You bring the fucking curse of your fucking ignorance and stupidity on children. You shouldn't have born to this world because you don't even love yourself. So how can you fucking love a child? That's why so much abuse of children. That's why there's so much abuse of children. Because you don't even love yourself. But you bring children into this world. Offer your lust. A sex and this and that and the third. I don't know. That's my last words. Look within. Fucking motherfucking niggas. Look within. 
Oh, I mean, it's not over. 